Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I will show you how to create the line chart or how to create the line chart application or how to represent the data in line chart format. Today in this video, I will show you how to create the SP line chart and how to define, how to represent the data in SP line chart format. There is a, such a difference between SP line chart and simple line chart. You will see uh, uh, in line chart, there is a straight uh, straight lines in SP line chart. There is a smooth curve lines. So let's create the application and see the effects. Just simply include the chart module and include the basic header files. Here is the charts. Okay. Now let's include the Qt core module. Also include Qt GUI, Qt widget. and qt chart okay now let's create the chart first of all in pre in line chart you use q line series here you wish use sp line series sp line series create this series equal to new now let's uh, add the data or represent the data let's take a 10 points first argument is x and second argument is y point so let's define the some values 10 let add 10 data 0 to 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 let's some change the data here is 5 13 uh, 25 and third, again uh, 10 5 or 4 9 12 uh, 4 uh, 5 and 10 to 18 okay this is these are the random data now let's create the chart chart object equal to new q chart okay now here you see the how we have to hide the legend legend arrow dot hide okay now let's add this series or add the data series data work now you can create the default axis Yes, chart create default axis and now set the range of that axis qt vertical set range our maximum value is in vertical format is uh, 25 so let's set it to 30 and uh, here is the uh, 10 so let's tell 22 uh, in horizontal manner so it is a maximum range is uh, 9 maximum value is 9 so here we set the 11 okay <coughs> now let's visible this chart set visible to true now let's create the chart view by use of q chart view object chart view class equal to new view chart view and pass your chart object in chart view constructor and now let's set some render hint set render hint q painter anti aliasing and also set the visible true set the visible property okay now let's set this chart view in our main window at the central widget chart view okay now let's run the application wait for the build
so you can see the sp line chart in you can see every point has a smooth curve in data now let's change the or modify the some data here to 15 uh, 13 to 20 and 15 again 4 9 here to 9 10 what 15 to and uh, here is to change to 10 to 19 so these are the random data you can set your as per your which uh, real time data you can see the effect so by use of this simple code you can easily create the sp line chart or sp line chart or represent your data in a sp line chart manner so please drop your comment if you have any questions about qt sp line series and please like the video subscribe to my youtube channel share this video with your friends and please please press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video thank you